Hello, welcome to Green Ridge State Forest, Site 36. This is an update. It's 2019, September. That's where you enter way down there. And you have a very long private driveway, which this time we found there's a big surprise right along here. And that is wild grapes. Our first night, apparently some deer bedded down in that grass. Because the next morning they quietly got up to leave. And there's more right there. You could definitely tell they were bedded down. Two, three maybe? And they got up and left the next day. Doug was laying in that little bit of a field in some sunlight in the morning because it got really cold that night, 43. And considering it's 86 right now, there was a sudden temperature drop the first night. Anyway, we saw the deer disappearing down that hill while we were at the picnic table. And before we could jump up, the dog jumped up and smelled them, was circling around trying to catch the scent. Before she could dart into the woods after him, I called her back. So apparently the deer come for the grapes. Pretty cool. Didn't see any sign of bear. I saw one blop out in the woods while we were walking around. So apparently they're not sweet enough for the bears yet. So, as you walk into the site, there's plenty of places to park still. Plenty, plenty of places, right, to um, put tent sites. Privacy tents over there. Firing in the middle. Uh, I put my tent under the only dead man hanging out of a tree up there. Looks like it'll fall about 10 feet away in the woods when it does go. Oh, we stacked some firewood, need to go get some more. Move the picnic table as usual. Had to use a pole for the fourth tie-out point. Uh, they had it right here. And I'm recovering from a broken leg and every time I stepped right next to it. My leg fell in this hole and I almost fell down like four times and it was really wrenching. My, it was always my left leg, the broken one, so I moved that picnic table first thing the next morning got over there and set a tarp up and put a hammock up with a pup tent underneath it for some quiet time. And this is still just a wonderful, very private site. There are lots of little trails leading down all over on all the sides that go down the ridge line. Because you are out on a ridge right here, you can hear traffic on this side. And uh, there is another um, campsite over there that you can hear people talking occasionally, but it wasn't bad. Um, there is a site farther down this ridge line um, that was loud the first night but we're relatively quiet last night during the day it's just a beautiful site you can wander around in the woods it's not hard to traverse back there a lot of the small dead wood has been taken down you can still always get some from the ground um, we had to go quite a ways to get a, a dead tree to cut it down and process it. But it's still a lovely site. I mean, you can see that you got plenty of shade um, on a really hot day. Dappled sun moves around to different places during the day, and the dogs just find a shady spot. First thing in the morning, it's cool. They find the sunny spot, and then in the afternoon, they go find the shady spots. And... That's an update on campsite 36. Still a lovely campsite. And a rare. Hi there. I'm on film. Um, that's our review of campsite 36 for 2019. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.